Hey guys, Ahmed here and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite three icon sets on Figma. Now, I believe these icon sets will help you design faster because you will be able to access any of them from the Figma with just a one key shortcut so that you don't need to be context switching all the time from going to websites like Font Awesome, fetching a bit, putting them on Figma, going back and forth where you lose time. Also in this video, I will show you how to use these icons by creating an icon set on Figma. I will show you how to componentize them so that you can actually scale your design solutions even better with these icon sets. Now, let's get started. Now, if you already know how to install plugins on Figma, just skip this section and go to the next phase. But if you're a complete beginner, I'm just gonna give you a very quick tutorial on how to do it. So, if you're on a design file, you want to make sure you go to your home screen, which is by clicking this. So, once you are in your home screen, you want to be going to your community and not your personal account. So, I'm gonna click this drop down and click on this community. This will let me search public files or public plugins in our case and we might search for our case like our icons like material icons and I'm gonna pick plugins and then you can install by clicking on the right side here any plugin you want all right now the first icon set we are going to talk about is the material design icons and if you type it on your community you can install it right here what the benefit of this kind of plugin is and I'm gonna to open it I'm gonna press command slash and I'm gonna write material to find the icons that's our shortcut and on the bottom left you can see what I'm typing on my keyboard I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna pop up okay what matters for this plugin is that it is very large it has thousands of icons and it is usually taking it from the material design which is you know for android very popular for the icons and especially if you are designing an android app this is probably the plugin you are going to use because it's so vast it has different options such as you can pick filled outlined so it also gives you the flexibility to basically change the view of your icon to change its stroke as you can call it. You can also change the size of the icon 24 to 24, 48, 96, and you can also change its color on the spot. And just to use it, you will just click and drag to your file, and it's just gonna put it there, and that's how it works. There is kind of a cost to this because because material design icons is so popular, it is used almost everywhere and it is not kind of unique. It doesn't add anything like branding to your apps when you are designing them. If you want to go for, let's say, much more, a bit more particular or unique set of icon set, this will not be my choice to use because it's used almost everywhere. It's standard. It's not going to give you that flair. Now the second icon set we will have is hero icons and what I really like about them is and I'm gonna show you how they look like on the Figma file so I'm gonna press command slash again gonna type hero icons and I'm gonna press it again to see it. What I like about hero icons is it is way less popular than the material design icons it is less frequently used so that which means that you can actually use it on your custom project whether for production without worrying about if it's too simple enough you know without worrying if it will not be unique because chances are it will be the cost of using this plugin tool in my opinion is there is not as much icons you can see the number 352 is but it's actually a 170 something for outline 170 for solid so if your needs for a full production app are very extensive you might have some icons here that you do not have otherwise and you have to use other plugins to fetch and you might have a consistency issue the last icon set we have is actually my favorite if you can tell it's called feather icons and it's designed by cold bemis so it's not actually designed by an actual big company but what I like about this icon set is, and I'm gonna show you here, gonna zoom in a bit again, gonna press slash, command slash, and I'm gonna get the feather icon set here. What I really like about is, 
that while it doesn't have outlined or filled options for stroke, it has a good enough number of icons, unique icons, like almost 300 icons, and it is good for your project. And it is still custom, it still looks custom enough because the feather icons is not that popular compared to the material design. So it's a very good sort between the material design and the hero icons. And they are a bit playful, so they are not sharp. They have radius around them. So if you are gonna design a playful, engaging app or a website, I believe this icon set is the best for Figma. I'm at a fourth icon set, I hear you asking, and yes. Now, this is an icon set I don't endorse. It's called Iconify, and I'm going to explain why you should use it as a last resort. It is useful in worst case scenarios. What you should focus on this icon set is this number 100,000 open source icons, meaning it's way larger than even the material design icon set. If you cannot find the icon type you are looking for for the previous in the previous three plugin set that I recommended for you, chances are you have to design an icon on your own or you can find it on Iconify and design it and copy and edit it a bit. So let me show you. Command slash Iconify. Now Ahmed, why would I need to design it if I can't find it already in the Iconify? Because it's open source icons that are not consistent with each other. So I'm gonna let's say like not light bulb, but let's say delete. Like there are various versions of it, but in any of these 30 versions, what you have, what you find might not be consistent with the current icon set you are using for your project. Because if you think of the feather icons, all the icons are consistent with each other. They are the same size, they are the same color, they have the same radius, they have the same stroke width. For this one, because it's an open source amalgamation, you might not get exactly what you want, so you have to tweak it a bit. Which is why I'm telling you it's a last resort option. Alright, Ahmed, I installed all your icon set plugin suggestions. Now, how do I use them in my project so that I can be more productive? Let's say we open up the feather icons by command slash. And let's put in some icons here. One, two, three. Okay. And I'm just going to move them a bit. And oops, that's bad. My bad. I, so one Figma mistake is I have to move them by holding their title on the top left. So now what we can do is we are just gonna, let's say, center them and maybe 24, okay. So let's say our icons that consist of these three icons and are these icons right now in the frame that we are here, they probably aren't. So I'm just gonna put them in. And this Figma bug I hate, even though I selected the this frame before to put them in, it hasn't put them in. So now that we have these three icons, you want to first make sure that you actually name your parent frame that you are actually putting the icons like icons or icon set. Because when we are going to componentize them, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, we want to be, we will see our all components here and we will see the parent frame's name first. So if we have a large project with multiple frames, and you are, your eye is going to search by the title of the frame, you want to make sure that it's as readable and is as correct labeled as possible. So icon set is what we are going to name it. Now we have our icon set with the frame. What I'm going to do is I'm going to componentize each icon. And to do that, to do that and to componentize each icon, I'm going to use my shortcut option command K. Now these icons have superpowers where if I actually have to use my icon in 50 different places and realize I have to change my icons, let's say stroke width or something, all of its children will update as well. So you don't need to go to 50 different places. You can just actually change it on one place and it will just scale. Then what you want to do is probably you want to create a page specifically for your icon sets. Now, wh wh why do I actually suggest this? I am actually suggesting this and you, so let's move to this right click and let's move this to the icon sets. I am suggesting this because in a big project, you probably 
um, let's see where it is it's right here you in a big project you probably will have a lot of different files in your production file and your icons might be used in your high fidelity and low fidelity as well so you might as well move them to a basically separate page you might always leave them to the you know page where you are designing if the project is small but i would advise to move them to a particular page and that is how you can stand organized a bit so i'm gonna show you if you go to the right side because now we have components we can actually go fetch them from here and we have a separate page for them if the project gets big enough we can always go to the pages and scroll and find where our icon set is if we need to change stuff so this is how you can kind of arrange and you can understand like we did it with three icons but for 5400 the principle stayed the same i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't already please smash that subscribe button below because if you do you will get a notification when i produce more figma videos that will help you become a better designer on figma and a better ui ux designer so take care and have a fantastic week now before you go any further i actually added two videos to the end of this video that i believe will help make you a better ui ux designer on figma please watch either of them if you haven't already i believe they will improve your design skills a lot